I got a, a client, her name was Anna Rodriguez. She had breast cancer and she, her hair has, had fallen out, had chemotherapy, all these things, but it was growing back. So I cut her prior, so she always more or less had finer hair, but after chemo, it was really different, a lot more finer, but a little bit beaded and all this stuff. Well, we always have, and I'm sure you guys have a lot of promotional deals, like, you know, make your next pre-book, next a couple appointments, we're doing a raffle to win this basket. This particular basket was a big care sauce basket, like legitimately $500 worth of stuff. She had one. She calls to the salon, I want to speak to Philip, blah, blah, blah. I get on the phone with her, and she's a high gluten attorney. She's a really sweetheart attorney. She's really nice, kind heart. And she's like, Philip, I can't take this basket. And I'm like, Anna, what are you talking about? Yes, you can. And she goes, well, I just feel like my hair doesn't have worth, it doesn't have the value, I want somebody else to have it. I was like, listen, you're coming in, I'm gonna create a new basket, because in the basket we had oil oil relax, a lot heavier products. I'm gonna customize this for your hair, okay? We're gonna get this, we're gonna figure it out together. To this day, that will never forget that. She still comes back. Prior to that moment, she would not buy anything because she thought her hair was not worth it because it wasn't gonna make a big difference. And then she realized by using the proper product, it really made her feel beautiful again. And that was the moment for me, I was just like, that, that just took my, that was like 20 plus years ago. And she still comes in, she still has that, and she's still buying the products. From taking a client that thought she wasn't good enough right, to have this specific brand and seeing the impact that it created on her made me feel like wow i was being professional i heard her what she needed she was seen by me she all these things right we completed that full-blown circle until this moment she's still buying that Kerastase product that was my story so that was now my why right i'll never forget those moments and why i want you all to identify them because this is really important when you're trying to because we're all gonna have this time and we, I don't know when it happens. It's a little bit different for everybody. I've been really um, lucky in my career to not have like a brick wall moment, but we all have them sometimes. For me, it's been more physically than anything else. Like when my back is really bad, it's really bad. I can't really do certain things, power through it as much as I can. But I haven't had that brick moment where I was just like, eh, I don't wanna do it anymore. And I get so, disheartened when I see young people come into this amazing industry and year in, give up the shears. Two years, I'm quitting. Three years, I'm out. I understand that this world is difficult, but I also understand that our beauty world, if you are committed and if you're driven, you can have all the success and all your desires of whatever you want. And I know that. We just gotta drive through the hard times to get to the good times, right? In life, there's always gonna be seasons, right? That's why we have four seasons. You have to be smart about when you're gonna execute on what season. We can't plant seeds in winter time. That's what spring's for. So anytime there's a winter, there's always gonna be a spring. So we have to be intelligent and wise enough and to mentor ourselves under somebody else to really grow in this world. So if you find your why in this world, I promise you, you will get all your dreams and they will all come true. I promise you that. But you have to be committed. It's not one foot in and one foot out. It's like legitimately, I'm in. And then that's when you realize, oh man, but we're gonna win. I, I think there's a chance. That happens to me, y'all. My first salon, I opened 2001. My goal from 2001, immediately I need to buy a building. I don't know why, I was 26. I was like, I need to buy a building, I need to have the property. I knew that if I buy this property, I can make it, you know, because I saw the system of how businesses run or whatever. So I always like had this idea, okay, if I buy a building, then if the business is fails, at least the property be worth something, right? That's what my mentality was. I was a young dude. No, no, no. A week after I signed my first lease in 2001, 9-11 happens. September. So I signed that lease around September 2nd, September 3rd, week after. I was in a top salon at the time. 
major salon. That's what that particular salon, Backstreet Boys were going into. Everybody, it was like the salon, and I had committed to going into a 200 square foot space that would be kind of like a suite now, but it was just a little space. I look back at it, and it's like a little closet. But I'm like, man, I believed. I saw it. I saw it. Nobody believed in me, but I believed in myself. And that is, that's what I'm telling you. If you believe in yourself, doing this business, that's when you're going to win. Now, the perseverance or per persistence, I didn't let up. Because in 2005, no. 2006, 2008, crash, right? A lot of no's. No, 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 no. Can't buy this. Can't buy that. And then I started to believe everybody else's story. Like I'm not able to buy this building. So the real estate agents didn't believe a little hairdresser can buy a million dollar building. So I was like, all right, F them all. I'm going to continue to my journey. So I put my head down, work, work, work. And then now 2020 happens, pandemic. And I was prepared because I had been through 2001 and I'd been through 2008. That, after 2020, I told Alicia, and she, she looked at, she thought I was crazy. She thought I had one eye and had really taken some crazy mushrooms or something. She's like, no, you were not. I'm like, we're buying a building, we're buying this building. And at this point, we were, had been looking aggressively for five years. Every year, I was probably, I got rid of two or three brokers every year for five years. Finally, I found one guy who was looking at us and really believed, I think these guys are serious and he don't, they don't want a COVID deal. And I wasn't looking for a COVID deal, I was looking for a building. Now I didn't know it would happen in the 2020 and it took a pandemic to get that ha to happen, but the reality came true, my dream came true. And I only share that because if I can do it, as from a 200 square foot little salon to a 6,500 square foot building with 56 parking spaces, any one of us can do it. I always say these little moments of understanding your influence, understanding your why is really important. And that is what drove me to kind of get to where I'm at now. It was nothing else, right? Obviously, their luck has put part of it. There's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It is all that, all of it continued together is how you drive through the hard times.